Brothers, sisters, and friends, each year we celebrate Thanksgiving by gathering with our loved ones and reflecting on the things we are grateful for. Our union has many reasons to give thanks. Since last November, your votes and our advocacy as a union have helped pass three transformative laws, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, the CHIPS and Science Act, and the Inflation Reduction Act. These laws have already created thousands of sheet metal jobs, invested billions in rail safety and modernization, and lower health care costs for our families and retirees. In the recent midterm elections, we showed up across the country for pro-worker candidates from both parties, elected allies who will help us build on those gains. One example is in Michigan, where we elected a pro-labor majority in the House, the Senate, and the governor's office. Their first order of business is reported to repeal the anti-worker so-called right to work law that was passed several years ago. This will be transformative victory for our families and workers across the state for years to come. Thanksgiving is also a time for us to stand together in solidarity. If you haven't already, I urge you to support the Transportation Division brothers and sisters and comment in favor of the FRA's proposed two-person crew rule. For those in Georgia, please keep up your momentum and continue to get out the vote for the runoff Senate election on December 6th. Brothers and sisters, I know there have been challenges in the last year, and we will see more in the future. We will face these challenges together and come out the other side a stronger union. On behalf of myself, the General Executive Council, I wish you a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you and enjoy the holiday.